Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. And it's time for the long-awaited September bullet journal. I bought a vanilla frappuccino glass Starbucks thing from the store just for this intro. I knew if I bought something from actually Starbucks, I'd probably drink it before I set up the camera. So anyway, we're gonna try this and then I'll get right into it. Mm. Alright, you guys have been waiting long enough. Don't stop looking at me. Hi guys, I know this video is pretty late. It's like midway September. Sorry about that. But anyway, we're gonna start right off with the cover. If you guys haven't already noticed, this month's theme is all about coffee. Because September is my favorite month. And it's not only because my birthday's in it, it's also the beginning of fall, which means the beginning of pumpkin spice lattes, which is amazing. So anyway, for the cover, I just drew a coffee cup with some steam coming out with the word September in a typewriter font. And then I moved on to the quote page. I drew a coffee pot and wrote the best quote I could find on Pinterest about coffee. Coffee in one hand, confidence in the other. Really inspiring, by the way. Anyway, the color theme for this month is this really light gray, black, obviously, to outline things, a dark brown, a light brown, and this like blush peach pink, which you will notice right here. The two font types I chose was a typewriter and a cursive. Anyway, here is the beginning of the left side of the calendar. I did a similar style of calendar in my March bullet journal, which you can check out in my bullet journal playlist. I colored all the weekday boxes in the light brown and the weekend, Saturday and Sunday in the darker brown. And then I used my gray marker to do drop boxes around them and here's the second side of the calendar and also on this side of the calendar i included a mood tracker which you'll see me color in a minute so here is friday and saturday colored in drop boxes or just little like lines around the boxes to look like shadows i've noticed from amanda rach lee this entire bullet journal theme is based off of her ideas basically i'll link her channel below i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen her if you're watching this but yeah, she's probably my inspiration. I probably wouldn't even know what bullet journaling is without her. Anyway, here's the mood tracker. They're latte cups from the top. And you just color in the little um, latte design every day. Pretty self-explanatory, I gotta say. Moving on to a assignment tracker. So basically... Online school has started for me, which is very stressful, but here I'm going to organize all my assignments so I know when I have time to actually film YouTube videos and have them on time. So I wrote the word assignments in that similar typewriter font and put two coffee cups just around it. And then the four classes I have for this page, at least, is English, Biology, Yearbook, which is really exciting and new, and Advisory, which is basically homeroom for us. And here is the social media tracker. I have lattes on the side of the words and four boxes for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. I'm trying to post more on Pinterest because I've heard it's a great business tactic. So I'm gonna try that out. You guys can follow me. All the usernames are at the top right there and have probably been noticed throughout this video. At the bottom, I put my current follower count and in the boxes, I put my goals and plans for each platform. And next is my favorite spread for this month. You guys have made already seen it on my TikTok. It's my cafe playlist. I colored it in and, and then I printed out pictures of albums of my favorite songs from this month. I picked songs that are more calm and more like study-like. Really, I really like the spread because of the design of the cafe building that I drew and I just love it, okay? Also, if you guys are wondering why the, um, screen does not fill up the whole thing and it has that little like brown thing on the side it's because i tried out a new tripod and it kind of created problems so i ended up cropping everything and just adding this brown background so i but i guess i edited some things there which are gonna look kind of cute so let's hope you guys like that so here i'm gluing in all the album pictures into the window pretty easy and at the top, I'm writing the name of the artist, the song, and the timestamp, or like how long the song is at least. You guys can pause and read them if you actually are interested. Well, anyway, I really like this spread if I haven't already said that like three times. But 
I'm just really proud of it. Anyway, comment below what your Starbucks order is because I'm curious. Here's the final spread for this month. September is when my birthday is, I think I've mentioned already. So here, this spread, instead of doing like what I want for my birthday, I'm doing 14 birthday goals because I'm turning 14 this month. Yes, I'm a child, but anyway. So here I am, I drew a box with this similar drop shadow. My name, Mia at the top. It's supposed to say Mia's 14 birthday goals, but it just says birthday, which is kind of dumb, but anyway. Here I'm writing all the goals that I want to reach by the time I turn 15, and at the bottom I added my signature to add a little touch. I put just goals like um, create content and like practice skills, and that's it. One minute, I'll see you guys in a sec. Before the final flip through, just a little update on the coffee. I'm almost done. By the way, not sponsored. I just really like it. By the way, enjoy the final flip through, and I have one more message for you guys. Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times, so I know my way around. Don't stop looking at me now. I know you don't care as much as I do, but I'm. Content with me next to you. Let's go to an art museum. I'll explain it at the coffee shop. I know you don't get it, but there's no need to fret it. It's like a gift, it's about the thought. No name might be too much, and then go might take a while. Okay, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I promise in these future weeks, I'll get more organized and I'll start posting regularly on YouTube again. But be sure to follow all my other socials. I've been posting more on my main Instagram and our Instagram. You can check out my link website down below to get all the links to everything easily. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! But thank you for coming and thank you for trying to do anything to make me smile